Hey y'all, what's good in repeats? How you guys doing today? I am so excited to be doing this video today because in this video we have seafood. But not only that, I am going to be teaching, um, some of you may know this already, some may need a fresher course, and some may be negligent to the information altogether. I am going to be informing you all on the branches of government and their responsibilities, also the Constitution, um, the Bill of Rights, and things like that. So stick around, all right? So let's go ahead and say grace and get into it. So, y'all, what we have are king crab, corn, eggs, and potatoes. I have my sauce that I made back here. So... Let's get it. For those of you that don't know, the United States Constitution is the basis of criminal justice in America. It was completed on September 12, 1787, and it was eradicated into law on land on June 21st, 1788. So that is the United States Constitution. Mm. <clears throat> the United States Constitution is the basis of all laws in the United States and was ratified and became the law of the land on June 21st, 1788. The Constitution also set up the framework of our government and defined the roles of the three separate branches. Mm. And for those of you who don't know, the three branches of government is the legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. I'll get into all three momentarily. The first branch of government I'm going to talk about is the legislative branch. The legislative branch is responsible for writing and passing all laws. Each level of government, federal, state, and local has a legislative branch. The United States Congress makes the laws on the federal level. Each state has a legislator that makes the laws for each state. Local government has a legislative process which is typically comprised of a city council or a county commission. God decided to do this video because the young people are truly lost. You know, we can't expect our educational system to teach our children. We have to do it ourselves. You know, and some parents don't even know. So that's why I'm going to be here. Educating. And just to let you guys know, the Constitution can be amend amended. Okay? So keep that in mind. So again, the legislative branch makes the law. The next branch of government I'm going to introduce to some is the executive branch. The executive branch upholds the law. It says, the responsibilities of the executive branch is to carry out or enforcing the laws that have been passed by the legislative branch. Each level of government, federal, state, and local has an executive branch. 
The President of the United States heads the executive branch of the federal government. Governors run the executive branch on the states and mayors run the executive branch of cities. All right? I know y'all ready for this crap, but I gotta make sure my young people pay attention. And all they get, and I want to make sure they're getting the understanding. Because their future is a jeopardy. <clears throat> the last branch of government I'm going to speak about is the judicial branch. The judicial branch interprets the law. Huh? It says... <clears throat> The, just, the judicial branch of government consists of the courts at each governmental level. The court system of the federal, state, and local governments are responsible for interpreting the laws passed by the legislative branch and enforced by the executive branch. The United States Supreme Court is the highest court in the country. Y'all got that, right? That's where the judges sit at. And here, 88 cases a year. Only 88 cases a year. So, when individuals are convicted of crimes and you've exhausted all the appeal process at a state level, that's when it goes to the federal level, to the Supreme Court. And only how the Supreme Court hears a case is, is it four? The rule of four. Four have to agree to hear that case. And when they decide to hear that case, a writ is drawn up. And that means that the case is going from a lower court to a higher court. And just so each government, each branch of government knows their place and one doesn't come, become more powerful than the other, the checks of balance was created. The checks and balance is the system set up by the United States Constitution to ensure none of the branches becomes too powerful. Each branch holds certain powers that can keep each of each of the other two branches in check. I used to remember who checks who, but each branch of government checks the other one. So they check each other so they can stay in line in a sense. <clears throat> so I just wanted to come and tell you all that. And when it comes to the Constitution, y'all, if y'all don't know the first um, 10 amendments is referred to as the Bill of Rights. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, the Bill of Rights is the common name given to the first 10 amendments of the United States Constitution. The Bill of Rights was eradicated on December 15, 1791, three years after the Constitution was eradicated. So, y'all. I have given you all just a brief synopsis of what's going to be going on moving forward in some of the videos on this channel. Um, it's so much going on in the world. It's so much persecution going on. It's so many racial class systems in place. For those who don't know, it's four. It was slavery, Jim Crow laws, mass incarceration. That's the one that we're currently under. And the fourth one has been developed as we speak. So, I want to use my channel to educate, you know, to help the young people. Some of them might have got kicked out of school early or didn't finish, whatever. 
the situation may be. You know, and some information they didn't get. So I want to be that outlet. So whew, be looking out to learn your rights. I'm gonna go through the constitutional rights one by one. For those of you who don't know, it's 27 of them. And as I previously stated, the first 10 are our Bill of Rights. And the Constitution is basically to keep state government in check. For those of you who don't know. So like, when a state violates your rights, you take it to, that's when the Supreme Court, or yeah, the Constitutional um, tell me, let me make sure I say this right. When your rights are violated, dang, I lost my total thought, y'all. Anywho, but I hate when my brain do that. Dang. But the purpose of the Constitution is to keep government in check so that your rights are not violated, say, like, by police officer, those in power. Dang. I hate when my brain does that. I'll be on a roll and then it just black out. But nevertheless, the Constitution is for our rights as citizens to be protected. You know, it's to keep the government, state and local government in check from violating citizens' rights. There we go. <laughs> My brain have a mind of its own, y'all. I don't even know why I ate right here because I know that. Mm -mm. So yeah, y'all. Be looking out for more videos, educational videos. <clears throat> you know, I gotta change some things up with this page because I don't like the direction that it's going. Um, <clears throat> I want to at least say I did my part on educating the youth. It seems like each and every way I try to go, the devil keeps standing in my way. He keeps getting in my way. So, I just have to use the things that I have in front of me right now until... I can do what it is that I need to do to get where I'm trying to go. Because I'm definitely tired of the hindrances. Mm. And I know how it's making me feel, so I can just imagine how it's making other individuals feel. You know? Oh. I ain't getting no paper towels, y'all. Please excuse me. Can you bring me a paper towel, please? <clears throat> Y'all made my sauce hot. Uh. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, y'all, remember, three branches of government. Executive, legislative, and judicial. Legislative branch makes the laws. Executive branch upholds the laws. Judicial branch interprets the laws. Uh, That's like where the Constitution comes into play. But when you go before a judge to see if your constitutional rights were violated. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. Whew. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this. I mean, y'all gonna see more if you want to or not. Because it's needed. 
All of you may not think so, but I know so. You know. Our youth are going to perish for the lack of knowledge. And we don't want that. <clears throat> Especially since they're going to be responsible for our tomorrow. You understand? Remember, it's 27 amendments. The first 10 are referred to as the Bill of Rights. The purpose of the Constitution is to protect our civil liberties, our rights. It, it prevents anybody infringing on our rights, meaning violating them. You know. And I'm gonna go through the constitutional rights one by one. Let you guys know what was what's afforded to you. And I'm, again. The U.S. Constitution can be amended. Think about that, y'all. Think about that. It's a process, but it could definitely be happen. Definitely happen. And with everything going on in this world tonight, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Hmm. Look how they did Roe versus Wade. Overturned it. Stopping up women from getting abortion, even if it caused risk in their own life. Hmm. Now states can enforce their own abortion laws, what they deem punishable concerning abortion. So yeah, you're. Look at Tennessee. Was it Tennessee? I know it's in the South. I want to say Tennessee. If I'm wrong, somebody let me know in the comments. How they reinforce Jim Crow laws. Being able to lynch people. It's so many individuals that's been run down and killed by mobs and gangs because they messing with women outside their race. Back in the day, they weren't allowed to do that. But now, interracial dating is accepted. But it's not accepted by all, but it's accepted by law. Oh, I forget the couple of names though. It was a white woman and a black man. And because of them, interracial dating was accepted. Uh, I think it's still frowned upon in the South though. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. And while you're at it, go ahead and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified each time I upload content, okay? If it's something that you guys want me to talk about on here to broaden your understanding, let me know. I ain't got no problem with doing it. As some of you may have noticed, I'm, I'm very vocal. I'm very, very vocal. Especially for things that affect people. I'm a people person. I love people. I hate to see people being taken advantage of. But that's just people in general. Like, I don't see color. Now, in situations where you're forced to see color, you know, but I love all people. We all intertwined in one way or another. <clears throat> Y'all make this so so hot. Because it's a hot topic. <laughs> mm. You know, that's what I 
I should name these videos Hot Topics? Huh? Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Y'all, I'm not so hot. Y'all, I'm going to say this. You know, disclaimer, I guess. Excuse me. I'm not here for everybody. My messages are not going to be receptive to everybody. And I understand that. I do. As long as you're here, I'm going to love on you, appreciate you, accept you, all that good stuff. But let me tell you, you pick up your boots and decide to leave, I ain't worried about it. I wish you well. And I hope you find somebody that you enjoy watching. But I'm still going to keep rocking and doing what I do. Okay? Like, you ain't got to announce that you're leaving. You just leave. Like, okay. It, 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 it's really not a big deal. I promise you. I appreciate the support, but I know I'm not here for everybody. I know that. And I'm not seeking acceptance for nobody. And I'm not here to please nobody. You know. I just want to do what's on my heart. And that's to spread knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Help those that lack wisdom spiritually and earthly. That's it. So you all. I got some homework to do. I've been procrastinating. So, until next time, be kind, be sweet, be genuine, be civil. But most importantly, treat people the way you want to be treated. All right? Doses.